Prep is important to me because society still tells me that people like myself should not love freely. With prep, people like me can have sex without guilt, without feeling that we're going to get punished for it. Growing up in Nigeria, I never aspired to live the life I'm living now, having a boyfriend, having a home together. Those thoughts just don't cross your mind. I don't think that many people will understand the pain and the pressure that living with HIV puts on you. It took a while before I was able to come to terms with it. Prep for me is a game changer and is an important part of HIV prevention. PrEP is important to me and my community because people who are living with HIV don't want other people to go through the same turmoil. PrEP gave the LGBT community a sense of this is my identity, this is the sexuality I have, and I don't have to be afraid of that other person. And that is something beautiful because for a long, long period, I lived with this idea about what I am is sinful. In an ideal world, there would not be racism, there would not be homophobia. But we don't live in that world. And I think that's why it's important for marginalized groups to find safe spaces where they can breathe. It's still a huge challenge when it comes to making sure these groups know that PrEP is also for them. Representation from someone who's had PrEP, who looks like me, is so important. Religious leaders particularly need to change their language Religious leaders are influencers. We are supposed to have a clear message that promotes healthy living. PrEP is prevention. I saw that many of the people that I knew had very difficult access to healthcare. But it's a whole system where you have people who are doing sex work, people who are trans, already at the outskirts of society and will not get the same treatment in hospitals. On the other hand, this is one of the most important groups because these are the people who fall between the cracks. And if we want to get the targets, we need to have everyone on board. Visibility is very, very, very important when it comes to access to PrEP. My hope for the future would be that trans and non-binary folks, intersex folks, queer asylum seekers, refugees, can feel seen. As someone who leads community of people, it's important that I have the information to speak confidently and boldly about the importance of PrEP, alongside the importance of condom. Anyone that can talk about PrEP within faith spaces will be an incredible champion for their community. We will end HIV. But this is about how can we, as people who are already in the margins, have a joyful life. And I want to grow in a way I've never imagined. That is something that you can do when you don't have to be afraid of showing who you are.